Thanks for staying with us now. We are going to go straight into what we found in the news today. I'm not supposed to be smiling because my own news uh, is just giving me a headache. <laughs> but what did you find for us, Isi? Mine is not so good either because a situation where women now decide to take girls. Before this thing used to happen in um, Edo State, you know, my Benin women, they would look for little girls as young as 13 traffic. and actually traffic them to um, Libya or wherever, where they can, Italy actually, to mm -hmm. um, prostitute them. But right now we have a woman who was arrested for attempting to traffic two teenagers again who were 15 and 16. Uh, uh, for prostitution in Libya. Now, this is a case of, um, this happened in um, Ogun State, and it was by a 35-year-old woman who was called Comfort, Comfort Innocent. She was, the trumpet actually blew because of the mothers of this girl. I have to applaud them because some mothers wouldn't even bother. They would say, oh, my child is going to bring money for me, like is the case in Benin. But in this case, the mothers actually screamed and, you know, reported the case to the, um, the police and the, the woman was brought in and that was where she actually confessed to the fact that she was a human trafficker. She was going to um, take, um, them, to take them to Libya and sell them into prostitution. Huh. So mothers should be careful of the um, kind of um, people their children actually interact with. Mm. It's, a, it's, it's so serious right now. Mm. We have to take it seriously. Absolutely. Yes. So my story is um, it's quite heartbreaking. We mm. plan to talk about it on Wednesday because I got a, a child body safety expert and an educator mm. to come talk to us about it. But I just okay. thought to mention it because it's been all over Twitter. Um, Pastor Kumi has been trending, mm. right? And um, it's Pastor Kumi, came, he, he's um, come under attack. Mm. He's under attack over alleged sexual abuse of the 12-year-old in a deeper life school. That's, um, that's the story that I'm taking today. So according to the story, of course, everybody has seen the video. I mm -hmm. watched the video today, EC. Heartbreaking. Listen, I have boys. Mm. I don't have girls. I have mm -hmm. boys. And trust me, <laughs> when I saw that boy, I was in tears. Myself and my sister were watching it together. Okay. And we literally, yes, we literally broke down and we were crying. Because she also has, boys. interestingly, she has two boys as, as well. well. And so for me, it was really, really heartbreaking watching that young boy, you know, from a chubby boy. I mean, the pictures are up there from a chubby and, boy. And did you see his facial expression? You know, he was so scared even to talk to his mom. He was in the comfort of his home. He was mm. still scared. Mm. I mean, this, the worst thing you would ever do to a child, <laughs> you know, is take advantage of them. Now, I saw the video of when she picked him up from school where he was throwing up in the car. Mm. I saw pictures, I saw videos of when she was now doing the video in the house and saying, please tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. You are home and you're safe with me. Nothing will happen to you. I, I mean, it is really, really, really heartbreaking because first of all, I have, not only do I have boys, they are in boarding house. No mother would want to see this and go, I mean, and, and, the boy and you know what is even so more annoying for me? What is most annoying for me was when she was narrating the part where a fellow parent. Who was the father or mother of the, the alleged the molester, molester, you know, where he was bringing out his belt that he wanted to flog her. That shows so a lot of people the family have, structure. The a lot of people, Cosmos on, so the, if you go on Twitter, it's mm -hmm. trending. Cosmos on Twitter says, sexual molestation is a great offense. Pastor Kumi shouldn't be silent on this. The mm -hmm. entire school management should be arrested and questioned for this mm -hmm. act of negligence, which I completely agree. You cannot feign ignorance in this. Now, somebody else, I think Jay, he says, from being plump, to a toothpick, I'm telling and they, you. they are busy intimidating the parents. Some, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I, I don't want to use the remaining whatever he said. But Words. my point is, now the mother came back again with a recent video saying that the, the commissioner for finance, um, for education, education in, Uyo. in Uyo, you know, mm -hmm. called her into her office. Instead of trying to resolve the issue, they called mm -hmm. her under the pretense of they were going to resolve the issue. Mm -hmm. They called her to intimidate her, to tell her to pull down the videos she did on Facebook. Mm -hmm. that she, she should pull down everything that she's trying to ruin her career and all of that. Is that what we're talking about here? Mm -hmm. It is a life of a child, for goodness sake, that is in this matter. So, If this had happened to her own child, would she be silent? So the height of this for me is how is the government handling this? 
right? And where are the law enforcement officers? So even while we are talking about all these ones, where are the human rights lawyers? Law enforcement officers, the school, first of all, I know that they have, uh, have so, they, is it suspended the, the they, principal or whatever? Have they brought out the molesters? They we need, know the numbers of individuals They need to just arrest people, involved. first of all. Let us throw them in behind bars. Then we can now start investigating and explaining. Because nobody, so nobody should, nobody should explain anything to me. As far as I'm concerned, at this point, I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I can't stand that. Mm -hmm. So I am on the side of the mother. You're right. Mm -hmm. Even if they come out tomorrow and some things, maybe, maybe she exaggerated some things. It look at the picture. Matter. I'm even saying, look it at the picture matter. of the child before he went to the school and after. Two months, the boy easy. was totally gone. If you look into the eyes of that boy, you know the eyes is the light of, the, of somebody. If you look into the eyes of that little boy, he's gone. <sighs> All you can see there is trauma. The, they're supposed to think of ways to, you know, help him mentally. I showed not, my brother-in-law the picture the of the boy today. Look at how today. bubbly he looks and look at how... He looks right now. Yeah, I showed my brother-in-law the, the picture of the boy, you know, today. He was, he couldn't correlate. He said he cannot believe that it's the same person. Nobody sees you this can't picture. can't say they took this boy for fasting and prayer. No it's thing. not it. That is not it. This boy was so traumatized that he lost he himself. He was really, 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 really humiliated. So oh. please, um, we, we know it is a church school. I was really hoping to get a church school to come and talk to us. Mm. We understand because I know there are some arguments in some corners that say that, um, what's it called? Parents also um, bring children, supposed children that are like, they've gone haywire to religious schools with the hope that the schools will be able to help them, you know, bring back the child, you know, to the right path. Mm -hmm. That argument is there and it is valid. I know some parents that have neglected their job, jobs as parents and they are now trying to give hand the responsibility. No, you are a teacher. No, no, we'll talk. That's why Wednesday. We have Wednesday to, to thrash it. But I'm just saying that I just could not um, go by today without talking about it. You know, yes. we'll bring in the expert because what is more, more paramount for me right now for this young boy is that who is helping him? You know, what is the mother doing psychologically, medically? And I think currently he shouldn't be exposed to social media. The less oh. he gets to know what's happening on social media right mm -hmm. now, the better for him, especially issues that has to do with his case. Mm. So he's, he needs serious mental, um, psycho, social um, Eva um, evaluation. Evaluation and um, support. Support, exactly. Yeah. Where he's able to find a balance mm. in the society again. Mm -hmm. Because he's only 11 right now. Yes, damage has been done, but it can be rectified. Yeah. So many, so many comments on Twitter. Someone says, for someone who preaches against wickedness and immorality, Pastor Kumi has been too calm on this case. Sir, speak up. Help mm. speed up the investigation. If there's any, um, if there's any indeed, then practice what you're preaching, sir. I, I mean, think... a lot of people, so, someone, Cosmo says, okay, sexual molestation is a great offense, but so mm. Kumi should, I think I took Cos Cosmo's response already, yes, right? You know, so, I mean, the mother's tears moved me. Her tears shouldn't be in vain. We mm. demand justice for her son. She has literally cried so much the... that her voice is cracked mm. and you want us to remain quiet, but so Kumi speak. If no it's to condemn girls on quiet. trousers uh, uh, now or mm -hmm. earrings, we would hear you. And this mm -hmm. is what people are saying. And so, some other tweet that I saw that I couldn't munch mm -hmm. said something about if it were a, a girl now, a girl child that mm -hmm. was molested, that all these female group, they will all come they out and all of out. that. No, but I don't want us to draw that line between because it's a boy or it's a girl. No, I don't have girls. Rape is rape. You molestation understand? Molestation, molestation, sexual molestation is sexual molestation. molestation. It's, it's, molestation. it's a no, no. It should not be tolerated in any form. Please, Pastor Kumi, you are calling you out you know to speak on this matter let's not be silent and let us not allow you know the devil to use all of us please mm -hmm. i think that's all i can say mm -hmm. thank you so much we'll take a break when we return we'll continue the conversation on financial literacy stay with us we'll be right back <laughs> 